Hello, this is Luke Johnson, and in this Revisto training session, we will be focusing on the Navisworks Sync Clashes plugin. We've previously discussed how to set up your Navisworks model and export it to Revisto. So we now have a Navisworks project and we have a Revisto project that has been published from Navisworks. Now we're going to run a clash detection in Navisworks and sync the clashes. Firstly, let's discover what the intersect search sets button does. Selecting this button, I can choose some of my search sets to basically create clash tests with other, with other search sets. So I'm choosing the facade search set and intersecting it against floors and structural, clicking OK. And when we now go to view windows clash detective, you'll see that it's created two clash tests from that process. However, it's quite likely that you want to set up your clash tests in your own way. So let's delete all and add a new test. Many users will use a simple model versus model technique. Or you might import clash tests if you have a template. Let's name this architecture versus structure. As you are aware, in Navisworks, we must have a view set up that has appropriate elements visible before running a clash test. So we have our object selected. We're going to choose run test. You can see there that almost 4,000 clashes have been de detected. However, this is too many really for a project team to consume. Therefore, we're going to group the clashes. The clashes have now been grouped. If we want to bring the viewpoint here from Navisworks into Revisto, we need to do one previous step or prior step before pressing Sync Clashes. We're going to click Report, choose All Tests Combined and XML and write Report. What we're actually doing right now is exporting the images of the clashes in a way that Navisworks can produce. This could include any Navisworks markups that we might have done. We're now ready to sync our clashes. Let's save our Navisworks project and press sync clashes. Sync clashes tool firstly talks to the cloud and checks whether any clashes have already been published there. You can see here that all of the clashes are visible in this list, all of the groups. We can choose to sync them all and we could optionally batch assign them to someone. If we didn't want to use this part uh, of the tool to assign the clashes, we could also use the assignee field in Navisworks, setting it to somebody's email address. This tool will then resolve that to the person uh, with that email address in the Revisto project. Looking at some of our settings, we can search through this list to find specific clashes to include or exclude. We can adjust this slider here, which will change how big the section box is uh, when it arrives in Revisto. We can use the filter option here to filter the clashes by various properties. Again, we can then use this to perhaps batch assign or include or ex exclude various uh, clashes. 
I've now filtered down to just one category and so I'm only selecting 38 clashes or groups. The tick box at the bottom of the list here, import markups for clash groups. As you can see, it says requires XML report file, which we just exported. This will bring the images from Navisworks that we want. The use clash group matching algorithm will ensure that the group here is linked to the appropriate issue in Revisto and it should generally be ticked. Update clash screenshots will forcibly overwrite the markups from the latest image here in Navisworks. Section box height defined by neighboring levels will, instead of sectioning around the elements, create a section box that spans floor to floor above and below the elements. This is now ready to publish into Revisto, but before doing it, let's click on the status mapping settings. In this dialog box here, we see the instructions or the configuration on how Navisworks statuses link to Revisto statuses. At a simplistic level, we can see here that if the Navisworks status is new or active, then an open Revisto issue will be created. In the other direction, if we mark a issue in Revisto as in progress, it will be get, get set to reviewed status in Navisworks. Validate geometric conditions will basically run a test following the sync to make sure everything is valid, validated. And close issues missing in Navisworks uh, will actually close any clashes in the Revisto project that don't exist here. Let's click OK and sync. And the tool will immediately ask us for the XML file, select it and click open. The issues have now been published in to Revisto. We can select the clashes here or the groups. We can expand out to see the various sub elements or sub clashes of a group. We can, at the bottom of the screen, use various toggles to toggle isolation, the section box, and the transparency options, including flip transparency. So you can see there that the size of that section box around the elements is a close cropped section box 100% size as we set. Now from here in Revisto, of course, we could assign the issue, we could change its status. And as we know from looking at the status mapping tool, if I set this issue here to in progress, then when we sync with Navisworks next time, the status will get set to reviewed. Now what happens on our next clash run? Just a few considerations. Firstly, if clashes are resolved here, as in their status gets changed to resolved because the clash is now gone. And according to our status mapping, those issues will get closed automatically. But what about the advanced status mapping? Clicking advanced view, you can see here that we can fully customize all possible relationships between Revisto statuses and Navisworks statuses. The way to read this is if the Navisworks status is approved and the Revisto status is solved, then close the issue and it will have a new status in Navisworks. So some, some of these settings we may want to configure to something that's more appropriate to our project. If there are dashes here, it indicates that that particular item won't be changed. So if the status is approved and solved, then when syncing with Navisworks, the Navisworks status will remain approved, but the Revisto one will be closed. 
if we do get a little lost here, we can use the reset default settings to bring it back to neutral. So we've seen in this session how we can use the Navisworks plugin to sync clashes with Revista.